Alright guys, welcome back to Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. Last time we started the game, met a bunch of the townsfolk, and I said this time we'd be talking to this guy. Are you a traveler? I'm Camus. I run a farm here. My name's Raguna, nice to meet you. Oh, you're the one Miss got her clutches on. Uh, yeah. She's a real character, isn't she? Don't worry, she's not that bad once you get used to her. Okay. On the bright side, Miss Farm is pretty big. Take good care of it. Okay. Oh yeah, and if you plan on catching any monsters, you'll need to build some monster huts. If you want any built, just let me know. I'm pretty good at it. <clears throat> Give me business. <laughs> splash, splash in the bath. My skin is so shiny. This is happiness. I don't think I want to stick with that voice. I am absolutely garbage at the female voices. I'll forget the idea for now. Let's actually talk to this witch. <laughs> oh, hello there. My name is Melody. I run a bathhouse here. Nice to meet you. My name is Raguna. Hey, Raguna, the bathhouse is open every day. Come and have a soak anytime you'd like. Hello. I'd like to take a bath. Thank you. I love it when people come here and take a bath. That'll be 10G. Thanks. Enjoy your bath. So for the cost of 10G, you can take a bath. What? And bathing is the best HP and RP restoration in the game. Ooh, this feels nice. A full restoration. Even if you're level 99, it would still fully heal you. It is fantastic. So, because it only opens at 3 p.m., you just use up your RP at the beginning of the day and all of your HP. Come here, take a soak, and then you're good to go. Oh, hello, I don't think I know you. I'm Rosetta. What's your name? I'm Raguna. It's a pleasure to meet you, Raguna. Where are you staying? I'm staying at Miss Farm. What? That old rundown place? Oh, so you're the one she suckered into staying with her. What do you mean, suckered? Let me guess, she told you I think you have talent, right? Hey, how did you know that? I knew that because that's what she says to everyone. Like, didn't have anywhere else to say, so I'm grateful she took me in. Since you're staying at a farm, you could probably use some supplies. My house is an item shop, so feel free to stock up on things. Thanks. Oh, and I'll go pick up the shipping boxes at your house, Raguna. I'll come by at 5 p.m. on a weekday, so be sure to fill up the boxes by then. That means she does not come on holidays, which is important to know. Alright, so we have RP, so let's burn a bit of it. The reason you just want to keep on farming as much as you can is, honestly, it's just good to level up everything. Farming over here is only level 2, but as you go it'll keep getting higher and higher and leveling up your skills is incredibly important. It reduces the RP consumption and as you get better tools the RP consumption gets pretty ridiculous if you're not careful. Currently it's only costing us a few every time. We're currently at 70, and one swing costs us two. So yeah, sadly we can't do a lot today. It'll all just be burning off the, all the RP and, you know, then going to bed. But later on, we can spend our evenings doing whatever we want. Assuming that we plan things well in advance, but eh, whatever. So rather than continuing farming for now, as we run lower on RP, I actually want to head back to the beach and fish more. As I mentioned before, fish are actually a really good source of income. And while I may not do it most of the game, here in the early game, I love to fish. It is fantastic. Later in the game, it can be really lucrative, but the amount of time it takes is just kind of ridiculous, so I prefer to do something a bit more action filled, I guess. You know, case in point right here, where it's been half an hour and I haven't done anything. Alright, that should be enough fishing for now. Just in time, actually. We are now level 2 fishing. So, as you see, there's a variety of level of fish here. And it's actually worth a pretty decent amount. Nothing amazing, the most of them is worth 100 currently, but... As you keep going, it'll be easier and easier to fish. I'm not going to be doing a huge amount of it during the game, but, you know... 
if you want to, you can always just keep it up and eventually get really good at it. So we're going to burn up all of our RP and HP real quick, just farming the land here. I'll meet you guys once I'm done. I just realized that I never even mentioned, but you can stay up safely up until 12.59pm. Or I guess that would be AM. Just don't go past 1am. If you go to 1am or later, you will end up the next day being tired and just not feeling well. Which will have, you know, negative effects on your RP consumption. Wah. We are down to 3 HP. So I could kill myself here, and killing yourself while out here on your farm is fine. You'll just wake up the next day just feeling awful at the, uh, at the doctors, and you'll essentially have a sick status. Wah. It's not good for you, it's actually a pretty terrible idea, and I'm not sure in this game if there are any, like, if you lose money, or, you know, Wah. Future Gabe will put that on screen right now, but, you know, we'll probably show that off at some point. For now, let's head to bed. Day one is over. This is quite a new life we have going here. I wonder what the next day holds. <sighs> We're up, and we already have visitors just barging in the front door. Who is it? <laughs> Sorry I came in here unannounced. I heard someone new moved in. My daughter wanted to meet you. What? Daddy, let's go home. It stinks here. Oh, really? Okay, let's head off. See you later. That's a fun duo. That was strange. Uh, rather rude, but understandably so. They're quite... Oddballs. They're fun characters. We'll get into them more later. I don't think I filled up my water pot before, so let's water. Start off every day watering crops. It's just a good idea to keep in practice because, you know, nothing's gonna be open anyway, so you might as well. Right, my 12. I'm gonna be doing two full squares here. Figure that'll be a good use of my time. And if you have any antidote herbs or medicinal herbs, I would suggest grabbing them, as well as any colored grasses. It's all HP recovery, poison recovery, things like that. Um, I will be gathering up the wooden things as well, purely because I actually want to keep it all. And if you have a clear field, it has a chance of spawning new things as well. So, you know how I left all this untilled? Now I have weeds and things spawning. The weeds are kind of garbage, and I'll probably just throw them in the shipping bin. But, eh, they're, they're there. In very early game, they're a little bit of extra money. They're never really going to amount to anything, but, you know, they're here. So if you press L and A, you'll bring up your little selection wheel. You'll go through your entire inventory like this. So... I will not be personally selling any of the fish I just caught to the shipping bin, at least. Because we'd have to wait until 5pm to be able to buy anything. Instead, if we wait until 9am, we can actually just, you know, get going on things. We can start selling things to a shop, buy more seeds, get everything kind of kickstarted, I guess? I think I'm gonna change my plan. Instead, I'm gonna have three fields out here just going at once. And I say out here for a very good reason. We are actually gonna start dungeon diving right now. Or at least, not right now, but once we get into the thick of things. So once 9am rolls around, we can actually start things. While I have the, like, half hour to kill, I might as well show this. Fishing in the river. Or at least, fishing in the river around the house. You caught a can. And another can. I was actually rather hoping to get, like, one of the other garbage items, but eh, whatever. I'm sure it's fine. 
now. It is 9 a.m., so let's visit all the stores we couldn't yesterday. So, you've got to buy something. I'm looking for Nicholas. Did he come here? No, I didn't see him today. Right. Okay, sorry to bother you. Sabrina. What is it? Oh, nothing. Yeah. Alright. Nice to meet you. I'm Felicity. I'm helping at Newman's store. Nice to meet you too. I'm Raguna. Ah, you're the one who came to Miss Farm, eh? It's all over town. So it seems. It must be hard for you to lose your memory. I hope you can get it back soon. Hey, never seen you before. The name is Newman. Tame the monsters and get eggs from it. My name is Raguna. I'm renting a farm here at the moment. <laughs> You're the one that came to the fabled mist's place. It's nice to meet you. Oh yeah, this place of yours is cramped and falling apart, eh? Let me know if you ever need any home improvements. I'll make a home from that house. So, you come to buy some. so this is Newman. Listen, Raguna, hit off with a monster and they'll be your friend. To befriend them, you'll need a friendship glove. Don't forget. So, you come to buy some. Let's Thanks see what he has for sale. He has feed, small eggs, strawberries, oranges, and that is it. So, also, if you noticed, I want to extend my house. You gotta make your house bigger. It's the only way you'll be able to get a wife. You'll have to furnish it too. If you don't splurge on a big double bed, who will want to marry you? I'll need 2,000 pieces of wood, and that costs 200,000 200, G. 200,000 gold? That's... wow! Is that expensive? That's how much houses cost. I can't afford that. I see. Well, I guess it's not cheap. Good morning. I want to live in a better town, but I don't know what I can do to help. So, once again, 3 p.m. for the hot springs. Don't you get fed up being surrounded by books all day? Books are a source of knowledge. I really do love my job. You should read a book sometime. <laughs> I used to cock a doodle as my alarm clock to wake up early and start working. I prefer it that way. Okay, sorry to disturb you, Russell. It was a nice distraction for me. <laughs> How he beat us here? I have no idea. But apparently this guy's name is Russell. Hi, my name is Russell. I'm the head librarian here. Who are you? Hi, I'm Raguna. Nice to meet you. So, you must be the one who came to Myth's Farm. Yes. We also sell books here at the library. We have a variety of interesting titles, so please drop by now and then. We also carry magic books, although they don't come in as often. You'll have to find them. You'll find them on the back shelf. I don't know why I'm messing up all these lines. Hello, I'm Tori. I work at the library. Hi, I'm Raguna. Oh, so you're the one who came to Misty's Farm. That's right. I thought so. Will you be in town long? I'm not sure yet, but I'm in no hurry to leave. I see. Well, I look forward to seeing you around. Thanks. She's kind of soft-spoken and a bit sweet, and also, um, we'll get into more about her personality later. I love books. When I read, it's like I travel to another world. She's a good girl, for the most part. Please. You have anything else to say? Tori's a hard worker. She really is a big help. Also, Please. final thing. Do come in. I'd like a book. I have just the book for you. Soulcraft. Beginner, Intermediate, Advanced, Master. Let's check out Beginner. This is a beginner's smithery recipe. It costs 5800 G. Please come again. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be able to pick this up for quite some time for multiple reasons. So while we're here, let's say hi to everyone. Be sure to get lots of sleep. If you stay up past 1 a.m., you'll be groggy the next day. Good morning. Hello, Raguna. Can I have a word with you? My son Camus would rather live in the city. I understand how he feels, but he's not ready for it just yet. I wish he would understand that. So Camus is actually Edward's son. That's very good to know. Okay, line those up here next. Rosetta, should I put it here? What? Daddy, those go those ones go here. How many times do I have to tell you? You'd be lost without me. So we've met Rosetta before. Creature of plowing, you know a sickle might come in handy. 
I have an old one you can have. And that's how you get the cheap sickle. This should help you cut the weeds more easily. I think it's after 50 squares plowed on your uh, field, you actually get access to the sickle. Good day, stranger. You're not from these parts, are you? No, my name is Raguna. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Jean. If you have, if you need any supplies, feel free to have a look at my wares. Thank you. Say, where are you staying at, Raguna? I'm running a farm outside the town. Ho oh, ho, sounds like Mist has a hold of you. <laughs> is something the matter with her? No, no, of course not. Just a bit strange is all. Sometimes it's hard to figure out if she's being serious or just spacing out. <laughs> yeah, I think I know what you mean. Come on in. Thanks for coming, as always. As Rosetta mentioned, this is the item shop. You can get spring seeds, summer seeds, fall seeds, and special goods. Let's check out the special goods first. For 500G, you can get a cheap bracelet, which increases your defense by 3. For 1200, you can get 2 defense and a vitality plus 1, which uh, future Gabe will explain exactly how vitality works because I don't remember currently. And for 5200, you can get 2 defense from a pendant. It's not really worth doing this, but it is useful for things later, so just keep that in mind. While we're here, I actually want to sell all of our fish. Come on in. Instead, coming, as I want to see a spring seed collection. Um, let's see, we're actually just short. I think I'm going to sell my grasses for now. I'm going to need them later, but that's later. Um, no, I won't be able to afford anything if I do that. Alright, I'm going to buy three radish seeds. They only take four days to grow. It's pretty easy to do. Okay, let's move on. In here. Hey, I can forge anything you want. No, Leo, I don't want a hoe. I want a sword. A sword, I? So what can what can a sword you want? Sword like like Grimoire sword. Grimoire sword? Well, it ain't easy to get a hold of, and even if you did, you wouldn't know what to do with I. You can't say that before I even tried it out. I know, without even seeing you swing it, you got no experience and you're full of fancy ideas, Thomas. <laughs> you sound just like my dad. Yeah. All you old fuddy duddies are all the same. What? What did you say? Nothing. I'm off. Camus seems to resent people who tell him he can't do what he wants to be able to do. Camus isn't a bad guy, but he has a lot of aspirations, I guess. Hmm, not seen Neil before. I'm Leo, I what be your name? My name is Raguna. Hmm, come over here a second. If you ever need a hoa sword forge and I Thanks, I will. So Leo is extremely important for the game. He is gonna be both your tool smithy as well as your weapon smithy. There's a lot of different kind of weapons and shields and things you can get, and he'll be your sole source of it for the first half of the game. I cannot afford any of this currently, but in a few days we're going to pick up a sword. I'm different from my father. That way of thinking isn't going to help you become a success even if you go to the okay, city. I got it. You're saying I'm naive. A man sees something through to the end before speaking of his dreams. Come on in. What can I do for you today? I'm different from my father. I'm a lot different than my pop. Someday I'm gonna get out of this town. I wanna experience the city life. Maybe I'll go to the sex empire. Alright. If that's what you wanna do, it's up to you. There's a lot of character to this game. Tabitha, are you there? These clothes that you handed me today really don't suit me. Sorry, a country girl like me always gets things wrong. What? <laughs> I 
I know you're from the countryside, but you've got, been made here for many years. And you gotta get a bit street smart. Never mind, life's hard in this town. Bianca, those clothes really suit you. They're so cute. Daddy praised me on my fashion sense? What? You're saying I have a strange sense of fashion? No, they look good. They look so good on you. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> Ma'am, aren't you gonna change your clothes? These are fine for today, but you can pick something nice for me tomorrow. Something to suit my mood. This is a awkward family dynamic. As we saw from these two this morning, this is Bianca. Oh, you. You came to my place once, didn't you? My name is Raguna. I'm Bianca. I'll say this now, if you want to talk seriously with me, you better clean up your act. Got it? Er, yeah. She's a bit spoiled, I guess, but she's, she's a good girl. She just has misconceptions. My name is Jasper de Saint Coquille. Jasper de de Coquille? Not quite. Just call me Jasper. It's tough for, to remember my whole name. Okay, Jasper it is. I'm the richest person in this town, and I'm also a gastronomist. My name is Raguna. Hmm, I see. By the way, do you know where I can get a hold of some tasty food? I'm always in search of new flavors. A gastronomist is somebody who eats food yeah. for a living. There, it's an interesting job, and if you don't mind your a, a chance of an early death due to arteries being clogged, it is a very profitable one. You just have to manage yourself besides out, you know, away from your, all your eating. Nice to meet you. My name is Tabitha. I'm Miss Bianca's maid. Nice to meet you. The name's Raguna. Ah, oh, you're the one that came to Miss Fame. Eh? It's nice to make your acquaintance, and yours too. Don't you think it'd be great if there was a town where human elves and dwarves could all live together? Yes, I do. That dingy house of yours spoils the beauty of this town. Do something about it. What? You'll need wood to make improvements. Got an axe? Er, no, I don't. What typical Tabitha? Tabitha's Tabitha over here. I guess that was a typo. You called, ma'am. Go and get us an axe. As you so desire, ma'am. Here it is, Mum. I'm gonna give you this, so you better work hard. Make the house nice, eh? You got a cheap axe. So, by talking to Bianca, she gives us an axe, which is actually incredibly handy. It's an incredibly generous thing for her to do, and it's just a bit of a show of her character that she's not really all that bad. Good morning. I eat seven times a day. What about you, Raguna? I eat a total of zero times a day, as is proven by the fact that I don't exactly eat food in this game much. I will show off some of the food items, but, uh, you know. Now, if you came here the first day, you would not be able to do anything here in the mansion. They were out of town or something, and as such, you can't do anything. But, if you come up and interact with this box, what's this? You got Rolla Booty. I don't know how to pronounce that, so that's what I'm going with. What are you doing here? Er, I'm er, looking for something. Hm, isn't that roll of booty in your hands? You know about it? It's a rare wine. Daddy bought up all the bottles, so it's scarce. What? He says it doesn't taste all that good, and I doubt he'll ever drink it, so just take it. It's a bit musty here, eh? Now if you come over here... This is it? You got an empty bottle. What are you doing there? I'm looking for something. Hmm, isn't that an empty bottle in your hands? You know about it? It's some kind of bottle for putting medicine in. I wonder what it's doing here. It's just in the way, so take it. Yeah, she's really not that bad. She's... She doesn't value material possessions. Which is both a good thing and a bad thing. It means she wastes a bit, but she doesn't... I guess... She doesn't think herself better than people just for the sake of wealth. She kind of has an ego, but that's for something else entirely. Now, roll a booty. Cost zero. Type Curio. In elusive wine, only ten bottles exist in the entire world. Alright. 
So real quick before we go, I need to make a small cut. I think I've done everything here in town that I care about. We're gonna head up to the beach and check out the shop down here. What is it? Are you going to buy something? Nothing I want. So what are you doing here? <laughs> Just killing time. I can't idle about like you. You're getting in the way of my business. Get out of here. You never change, yeah? Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, Mr. Newman, are you going already? Yes, Nicholas. If I miss work, I'll get in trouble with your mom. But I wanted to go and play at the beach. We'll do that next time. Come over to my place when I don't have work. Yay! Who are you? I'm Raguna, and you're... Nicholas! Nice to meet you! Nice to meet you, Nicholas. So where are you from, Raguna? Actually, I don't remember. Right now, Mist is letting me stay on her farm. Really? Please, come in. Do you fish, Raguna? If you've never fished before, come and buy some equipment for me and give it a go. So... That scene... That, combined with the scene that we saw at Newman's place, shows that there is a connection between Sabrina and Newman. We'll get into that a bit more later in the game. But for now, it's just something that you should know about. So. We're going to plant those there. I'm going to, I guess, switch over to my hoe for now. I forgot to do one last thing here in town. We come all the way up here to Godwin's Manor. <laughs> I'd like the festivals involving food to be held at the St. Coquille home again this year, I hope. They'll be grand affairs. Work hard. Think of how you can help the town develop. Of course I will, Mr. Mayor. Okay, I have to go now. Father? Yes, Felicity? I wonder what I can do for the town. <laughs> Thank you, Felicity. I'm happy that you are always thinking of our town. But for now, I want you to put your health first and get better, okay? I don't want you okay, to overdo it. it. Good morning. Is this our first meeting? My name is Godwin. I'm the mayor of the town. Nice to meet you. My name is Raguna. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Mayor. Hi, you're the guy who came to Miss Farm, eh? I'd like to give you a big cardio welcome. Thank you very much. I hope you stay in the town for a long time. Oh, I'd like to expand my own fields. I think is, I think it is okay to issue patches to the caves for the sake of the further development of our town. Thank you very much. Right, here's a pass to Carmite Cave. However, there are also monsters in the dungeon. Take care, okay? You got a pass for Carmite Cave. So now we can go to our first dungeon of the game. Which is very important if we want to get things going and, you know, moving forward. So, let's head down to Carmite and I'll start showing you guys how everything works. What's that? Raguna. Hey, Mist. By the way, I didn't tell you there are monsters living in the cave. Be careful. Okay, thank you. Is that what you came to tell me? Yeah, I was worried about you. Thank you. By the way, what's that funny shape thing? I've never seen it before either. I wonder what it is. It looks kind of scary. It looks like it's where the monsters come out. What? You think magic should be the only way to summon a monster? Well, I'll look into it. Okay, be careful. Don't worry, I'll be fine. By the way, Raguna, there's something else I need to tell you. If you lose your HP in the cave, you'll die. If you swing your sword or your hoe without any RP, you'll lose HP. Keep that in mind, okay? Got it. I'll be careful. Alright, I'm out of here. Yeah, if you... Oh, right. Oh, I almost forgot. I want to give you the spell book. Spell book? Yeah, you know, to cast magic spells with. You can use the escape spell to instantly orb yourself out of the cave. It'll bring you back to the entrance of the cave. That's right on this spot. Press L and X to prepare the spell, then X to cast. 
Remember, using magic will deplete your RP unless you cast Escape, which doesn't use any RP. Wow, that's sweet. Alright, see ya. You received this spellbook with Escape. Okay. Now, this right here? Who are you? My name's Raguna. I'm Xavier. Hey, it was you, wasn't it? The one who, that made the move on Mist? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not the one that made the move. She... Mist made a move on you? No way. My Mist would never do anything like that. But that's what happened. Mist? Why? Why him? <sighs> this... No, this must be some kind of mistake. Xavier. Uh, he likes medicinal herbs. Thanks, I like the medicinal herb. So... These fields are incredibly important. These are going to be a great source of energy for you. And I say that, and it's kind of weird, but it's actually really true. Um, I actually got really lucky with these, as, you know, I can actually plant three full fields of crops here. And that will become evident why that's important on the 6th. You know, when these crops are done. For now, though, it doesn't exactly matter. We'll get to that later, then. Just gotta use up all my energy, you know? We're not gonna be fighting monsters without a proper sword. So, you know, if you're hoping for that today, uh, I wouldn't give your hopes up. <laughs> it's hard to do, and it can lead to a lot of waste, so I don't like doing it. So, there are a lot of different kinds of enemies throughout the game. Uh, on screen, I'll put what the names of the enemies we see are, but for now, we're not going to be able to do a lot with them. There, You can fight them as is, but I'm just not really strong or comfortable fighting them, so I'm just going to come out this way and start grabbing things to sell for money. Because I'd like to plant more crops today, if possible. Dodged you. Now if you come up this way. Hello, Raguna. Today I have just the item for you, if you're planning on doing a little spelunky. It's a radar device. What's a radar deviceer? It's a radar that detects metal. I specifically tuned it to respond to those mysterious devices. You mean those things that come, the monsters come out of? That's right. If you use this, it'll make a sound to notify you of how many of those devices are on each level. Equip it with B, then press L and B together to set the radar. Then press B to hear the signal. The number of beeps indicates the number of devices on that level, so if it beeps three times, there are three devices. That's amazing! Thank you, I designed it myself. That's gotta cost a fortune, though. I don't have much money. For this item, you can pay me for it later. After all, you could really use it now. Really? Thanks! Considering a special gest gesture for a special customer, I'm sure we'll be doing lots of business in the future. Oh yeah, he makes a grand total of blah amount of money. Future Gay probably put it on screen there, hopefully. I hope so. Alrighty then, good luck. You got the radar device. Apparently there are two on this screen alone. Good to know. We're not going to be fighting... We'll get into all the different kinds of monsters later, but just know we're not actually dealing with most of them right now. These are save points. If you see the on the ground, I would suggest saving, but, you know, you make your own life decisions. You're a big kid now. If you want to, you can make your way up here past all of them. And these fields don't have a lot. I would recommend trying not to be hit by these ants no matter what. Those ants can actually in inflict the status seal. Not only will you not be able to charge your weapons anymore, but you'll not be able to use magic, including the escape spell. It's pretty awful. It's, if nothing else, it makes everything take more time. And you can't actually get rid of status ailments without proper items, and we don't have money or items, so it's probably a best idea not to mess with them for now. 
those bees can inflict poison, so be very careful. These rocks are for mining, but we don't have a hammer currently, so we can't do anything about that. And these. These squares are poison swamps. You walk through them, you get poisoned, you use an antidote herb, you're good. Alright. I just got inflicted with... The low chance to be inflicted with C when I got inflicted... I can't believe I'm doing this while I'm actually resetting, because I just saved anyway. Give me a second to get back here. I know it's dumb to reset that quickly, but I just... I have plans for the next couple days, and I want to make good use of it. Okay, let's try this again. There we go, you just run around the goblin, you're all good. And now, this was pretty pointless. We're actually at the end of the dungeon here, this is the last save point, and then that's all we can do. But, we can't do anything here for now. We're not going to be able to take on this dungeon for a little while, so instead of that, I'm just going to move ahead. I'm just going to move back here, I'm going to start buying up more crops and get everything going, because early game, these crops are incredibly important. Really, Rosetta? You came to hear of my heroic exploits? I don't want to hear your boring stories. Anyway, this is my home. What are you doing here? <laughs> Well, we poets don't concern ourselves with details. Well, I reckon people who make note notice... I reckon people who notice the details make for great poets, right? If you've got no business, go home. You're even cuter when you're angry. Get out of here. Okay, I'm going. Lucas is a bit of a womanizer and has the hots for Rosetta. Hey you, I heard you got past a Carmite cave. I know it's good to aim high, but try not to push yourself too hard, okay? For now, I think I am going to go through and sell all the lumber I have on me, all the logs. Because I just really need the money that badly, actually. I'm going to buy two radish seeds and one strawberry seed. Strawberries take eight days to grow, which is twice as long as radishes, but can regrow after being picked. It's extremely important, and strawberries have a bit more of a purpose than radishes do. So, I would recommend picking up one bake of it if you're following along with me. Remember not to get hit while you're filling up your water, or else it'll reset your animation. And that would suck, because then you have to go fill up water. Yeah. Even if it's at the end of the animation. Because I guess you just spill it all afterwards. Do not get hit by the arrows. They are the same kind of arrows that the goblins use, and they will seal you. Not will, but statistically in my history, it's just will. It's awful, but you know, it's how it is. Alright, let's get some use out of our sickle. And by using our sickle, our farming skill has gone up. It should be noted, as you uh, try to delve through the dungeons, you might notice there are monsters. Monsters are kind of bad for business, they'll hurt you, attack you, interrupt animations. Even if the monsters are weak, they'll still in uh, interrupt your animations. It's pretty awful. But, all you have to do is off-screen them. Just get them just slightly off-screen, their AI will completely cancel and they'll no longer be any trouble for you. So, it's pretty good. In later games, they'll still be active even if off-screen and, you know, it's a bit unfortunate. So you just need to either off-screen them or get them to walk a certain distance away from their spawner, and then boom. Uh, that's all we can do in here for today. So we're actually about done. There's not a huge amount we can do. I will... I think I'll cut here. Oh, we're actually kind of late on time, so I can actually cut the episode here. So, I'm going to cut the episode here. I'm going to head up to the bathhouse, use up my time, and real quick, we're going to do a little montage for the rest of the day of all the fish I catch. I wonder if there's a good source of a hot water spring in Carmite Cave. So guys, I'll see you all next time. I hope you all have a fantastic day.